We are here with Ashton Keith, the author of Lemon and Salt, a new book to help people who have a little bit of trepidation in the kitchen. So first of all, why lemon and salt? Why are these the two ingredients that everybody needs to know? Um, well, lemon and salt are kind of like the restaurant secret. Every chef knows this. Mm -hmm. It's basically acid and salt. I'm taking mm -hmm. liberty of saying lemon because... <laughs> Makes for a better title. <laughs> Makes for a better <laughs> title, and I also <laughs> use lemons more. Right. Um, but really, acid and salt are the only things that you need to elevate pantry food. One of the things that I find the hardest is that people will go to the grocery store with a lot of ambition and <laughs> a grocery <laughs> list from a recipe that they've seen someplace, and they spend like 80 bucks on all the ingredients, and then they never use them again. Right. And I do it, and I'm in this business. Okay. So like, I'll totally use cardamom tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> so the idea is I use a lot of the same rollover ingredients. Mm. So you'll see um, chicken broth and the same herbs. Like I use tons of chives and lemon zest. So that really kind of carries from one thing to the next. So you don't feel like you're right. spending a massive amount of money. Um, and all the ingredients are, it's probably about 10 to 12 per recipe with the goal of everything being done in about 45 minutes. With all of your expertise in that area, how do you find that the biggest mistakes are that when you've had people in cooking classes, mm -hmm. you know, is it making something look presentable or is it just like burning the pan? Like what do you see the mistakes that people are making that can be completely avoided? Well, I think fear is like the number one thing that I see. Yeah. People are so feel fearful to cook. Um, so that's the first thing. And then even beyond, you know, you can get real technical with plating and making it look beautiful. Right. I'm not so concerned about that. I just mm -hmm. kind of get in there. Um, right. Get a great knife, which a lot of people don't mm -hmm. have. And that's one of the things that I kind of talk about in the book as well. Um, and then just do it. It's really just as simple as getting comfortable and, and kind of jumping in feet mm -hmm. first. Beyond the knife, what are some other essentials that people need to have always in their pantry or tools that they always need to have if they're sort of starting and saying, okay, I've never cooked before, like what do I need? Exactly. So, well, besides lemon and salt, because like, duh. Because, <laughs> now, we're because here. now we've covered that. Now we're here. <laughs> um, well, I talk about how there's no fancy equipment needed. So there's no stand mixers or hand right. mixers. Um, have a really great knife, a cutting board, um, an oven-proof pan, and a sheet tray, and all of these recipes can be done. Easy. Yes, very easy. So, like, keep it as simple as possible. As simple as, like, caveman cooking. So what are some of your favorite recipes from the book? What are the ones that you look at and you're like, oh, this one is a winner? So I love the roasted mustard salmon. I'm not even a huge salmon person, but I find that this is a recipe that I go back to time and time again for clients, handing out to friends, to giving to people who are getting married or need a recipe the last minute. Um, so I love the roasted mustard and salmon. I really love the chocolate mousse because I'm a chocolate, yeah. you know, fiend. Can't go um, wrong with that. Exactly. And they, there's a whole salad section. So I love mm -hmm. um, just, you know, salads that can kind of transition from dinner to a side to a weekday lunch. Right. And so you also are known for entertaining. What are your biggest tips for when someone says, okay, I've got this down, mm -hmm. now I want to have people over? Like, what are the biggest mistakes you see people make? when they are having people over. Trying to do everything when people are there. Right. You can't cook when you're entertaining. Like, you mm -hmm. just can't do it. Nobody does it. Um, it's the same as in a restaurant. If you were order, you know, something at a restaurant, it would not be made start to finish. There's prep that's done right. beforehand, <laughs> and, you know, you do your mise en place. Mm -hmm. So the same thing applies to cooking at home for other people, is that you really have to mm -hmm. kind of think ahead. And right. what's great is that most of these can be held and then just, you know, thrown in the oven. Reheated or exactly. served. Exactly. Yeah. And also just to have fun with it, you know. Have fun. Have, have fun. some lemon and salt. Have some <laughs> And a good knife. <laughs> and a good knife. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Ashton. Obviously, thank if you, you want all of the recipes, you can get it. It's lemon and salt. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.